Google's AI mode just launched and for the first time ever, Google isn't just showing results, it's giving you answers. And if your content isn't that answer, you're not just losing clicks, you're losing customers. Basically, you can rank on the page one and still lose. If the answer is readily available at the top, why would anyone come to your page? So if you're anything like me, your immediate thought goes to, how can I train Google AI to actually send me customers? What's the real secret to dominating AI search? To be honest, there is no secret. It's just great SEO with smarter execution, which is more structured, more crawlable, more human, and more helpful. Because AI doesn't want hacks. It wants content it can understand, trust, and reuse. And whether it's Google, ChatGPT, or Perplexity, you'll start showing up not just in the results, but inside the answers themselves. So if you want to dominate AI mode, here's how. Step one, optimize your concepts. Old SEO was about keywords. GEO or generative engine optimization is about concept positioning. If you want to show up in AI answers, you have to make sure the AI sees your brand as tightly connected to specific ideas. For example, if someone asks for the best value skincare brand, the AI doesn't go searching. It already knows the answer is the ordinary because the phrase and that brand have appeared together everywhere again and again. Your job is to do the same. Pick one, two phrases you want to own and then build content, interviews, PR and social proof around those exact ideas. You're not just training Google, you are training Gemini, ChatGPT, Perplexity, all of them. Think of it like teaching a kid. The more often they hear two ideas together, the more those ideas fuse together. So when AI gets a question, your brand is what it naturally recalls. Step two, don't hide from bots. According to a study, 48% of the top 1,000 sites tested in 2024 were blocking GPT bot without realizing it, cutting themselves off tools like ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Google's AI overviews. So open up access for bots. Check your robots.txt and make sure GPT bot, Binge bot, and Google bot aren't being blocked. But that's not all. You need to make your content easier to scan. That means using clear HTML structure, writing proper all text and image captions that match your target topics, including short, quotable summaries AI can pull from. And submitting to Binge Webmaster tools because ChatGPT pulls heavily from Binge's index. Step 3. Tell AI what your content means. In AI mode, context is everything. And schema markup is how you give that context directly to the machine. According to data from schema.org adoption reports, content that includes structured data is 44% more likely to be cited or featured in AI-powered summaries. So try using organizational schema to define your brand's identity, author and publisher schema to establish EEAT, FAQ and how-to schema to get featured in answer boxes, product or software schema to explain features, reviews, pricing. Same as tags to link your brand to trusted profiles like LinkedIn, Crunchbase, GitHub, or even your Apple Maps listing. Step four, optimize for speed. Now let's talk performance. AI models don't want to dig through bloated, slow loading sites. Sites that loaded in under 2.5 seconds were 34% more likely to be cited in AI overview results, according to a 2024 study by Banklingo and similar web. That's why performance optimization is non-negotiable. And if you are using WordPress, this is where Airlift can help. It's a free tool that removes unused CSS, optimizes fonts and images, and gives you a clean performance boost instantly without stacking 10 different plugins. Step five, own the conversation, not just the click. AI doesn't just quote random blogs. It pulls from domains that have topic authority, meaning you've talked about the subject deeply, repetitively, and with expertise. So stop thinking like a blogger, start thinking like a mini media company. If your goal is to rank for email marketing software, you'd better also have pages on best times to send emails, B2B or B2C tactics for email marketing, deliverability tips for email marketing, email automation workflows, comparison and breakdowns, mistakes to avoid when sending emails, and yes, even cover generic terms. This web of content builds relevance across Gemini's internal graph. Also, this isn't about content volume, it's about increasing your surface area of luck. 
Thanks for watching and if you want me to break down exactly how to audit your site for AI readiness, drop a comment below and I'll make that in the next video. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.